This is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Langnese Cornetto Soft Cookie and Chocolate Ice Cream. I've never had something like this before, I just saw this at the local Globus uh, an hour or two ago and I bought it. I bought this for 2 euros and 99 cents and uh, yeah, we are going to take a closer look at this. Pause if you want to read the, I think, ingredients list right here in English, in German. No, it's not the, is it the ingredients list? No, the actual ingredients list is right here. We've got the milk chocolate ice cream and cookie flavor ice cream in a wafer cone with chocolate flavor coating, chocolate sauce and chocolate cookie pieces. Milk chocolate in milk chocolate ice cream. And then there come the ingredients list. Okay, pause if you want to read that in various languages and pause if you want to read the nutrition table right here. So four of these are in here in the box and we're gonna open this one up now. Let's zoom out for that right away. Oh, okay. Um, Package-wise it looks just like the Cornetto Max that we used to have. Now that I say it, it doesn't really look all too different from the top here either. Let me put the others in the freezer real quick and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, I'm back at the desk. Let's take a, a cutting board right here as well, a spoon, a knife, and let's get this opened up now. It's been a long while since I had a Cornetto. It must have been last summer maybe. Probably even way before that. Okay, uh, this one is already melted right here, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's take off the plastic cone at the top. All right, it doesn't look too bad overall. The cone seems to be fine as well. Smell-wise, it really smells like regular milk ice cream on the very top. And you do have somewhat proper wafer smell at the very bottom. Sometimes they just smell artificial. This one right here seems to be fine in that regard. Let's set this aside and um, slice through this, shall we? Now how am I going to do this? I want to see what this looks like on the inside. And um, this is going to turn into a massacre, as it always does. Alright, here we go. So, we've got a cocoa ice cream right here on the top, very soft, a bit weird when it comes to texture, a bit springy almost. Then we've got a milk or white stuff right there. We've got some sort of, what is this supposed to be? I don't quite know what this is. Is this chocolate? I think this is like the kind of chocolate cookie pieces and chocolate sauce. Looks like some sort of poppy seed mixture from the outside. Oh no, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Looks not too bad actually, and then we've got the milk ice cream here, and we've got that, that, um, what's it called? A cocoa fat glaze or something, I think is what they have to call this, because it isn't technically chocolate. Let's taste this right here, this seems to be interesting. There's more of it than I thought there would be. Let's go for a little taste test on this stuff right here, quite dark. Nice contrast we've got right here. It doesn't really taste that great of chocolate. Tastes like something that is supposed to taste like chocolate, but it's kind of chemical. <laughs> it's, a, it's not that, that chocolate taste that you want. Ice cream itself seems to be fine. It's just that very basic kind of milk ice cream. Then we've got the cocoa ice cream out here. Let's get this crunchy bit off. Yeah, this is a bit boring as well. The most interesting part of it is actually this sort of we had like chocolate mass down here. It's the most interesting bit. It's also a bit interesting, I guess, are these, um, no, we haven't got any of them here, are those pieces right here. Those are chocolate cookie pieces. They aren't crunchy at all. They are quite soft. They are not what you would expect, certainly. They taste like, like some sort of cocoa cookie mixture with cocoa powder on top of it. A lot weirder I expected than I expected, that's for sure. And this is turning into, yeah, it really into a bit of a massacre it seems. But so far, so good. Okay, I think we've pretty much seen what we wanted to see. The ice cream itself is 
said milk ice cream, then we've got that cocoa flavoured chocolate ice cream, that's kind of weird. This stuff right here, I can't really say what it is. It tastes like some sort of, some sort of chocolate preparation that is supposed to taste like chocolate but really isn't. And it's got a weird sort of chemical aftertaste to it. it it's weird. Some sort of chocolate sauce with some granulate matter in there, it seems, almost. Can't quite make it out what it is on the inside. When we take a closer look at this, it, it kind of looks odd as well. Not necessarily what you think about when you think about chocolate sauce. But I think that's what it's supposed to be. Anyway, I'm going to finish off this uh, particular cone right here and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, the consumption process is complete and we are ready to jump into the rating with the review sheet. First impression wise, I think this has been fine overall. It looked close enough to what it looked like on the box, so don't really have too much to complain about it in that regard. Color wise, same story here. Didn't really look off putting. The white uh, ice cream was white, then this darker chocolate flavored ice cream was just the color that you ex uh, would expect it to be. And um, Nothing else really threw me off either, so one out of one available point in that regard. Consistency and texture-wise, I give half marks, because I have to say that it is quite difficult to eat that sort of thing when it's not really cold, right out of the freezer. Um, it, it really melts very quickly and you're gonna have a bit, of, a bit of a difficulty eating this stuff here on the very top without this entire thing disintegrating or well, capsizing this entire tower of ice cream here on the very top. These things tend to do that sometimes, and this is going to be a candidate that is going to be very prone uh, for that particular behavior in the in the nice warm summer sun. That is certainly something to look out for. Uh, what I did like, however, was the waffle itself, or the wafer itself, that wafer cone. The consistency and the texture of that was very nice, nice and crunchy, uh, flavor-wise, as well. Um, Taste-wise, overall I give 3 out of 5 available points, simply because that, that chocolate flavor of that stuff on the inside, that kind of weirded me out. It wasn't really chocolate cookie-like, it was a weird mixture, not necessarily alcoholic, but it had a, a, certain, a certain flavor to it, a certain aftertaste to it, that these alcoholic uh, praline chocolates sometimes do have, really reminded me of that. Otherwise, it has been okay, though. Flavor-wise, that chocolate sauce on the outside as well, that wasn't all too great either. It was just that, that chocolate sauce that you have come to expect over the last couple of years, and not great, not horrible. It's fine. Three out of five for the entire thing, therefore, in the taste department. Thematization-wise, I think they could have done this a bit more crunchy, especially when it comes to these cookie pieces on the outside. They have been quite soft, quite squishy, foamy almost. I think they could have gone with a bit of a more crunchy chocolate cookie piece on the outside. That would have gotten then uh, one out of one available points in the demoralization department. Otherwise, has been fine though. So uh, 6.75 out of 10 available points is the final rating for the Cornetto Soft Cookie and Chocolate Ice Cream. And I think this is where we're going to end this particular video. And uh, if you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope we're going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.